When one hears the word jazz, you usually think of famous instrumental musicians like Miles Davis. It's not often you consider the voice as a jazz instrument. The Young Voices of Brandenburg is a German jazz choir of 20 young voices touring from Berlin. They perform a cappella as well as solo and chorus songs accompanied by a piano trio to create a unique musical experience. The choir is conducted by jazz vocalist Mark Sakara. It's a vocal jazz choir, so we are singing in the tradition of these great vocal groups like Manhattan Transfer, New York Voices, Take Six which are very complex voicings, so it's not the normal chords, it's richer chords, richer sounds, sounds from jazz music and pop music. Although their jazz singing style has the conventional American influence, the performance maintains a traditional German flair. We sing English and German because I want every singer to sing in his mother language. We try to be in the repertoire as jazzy as possible. Sometimes we pick songs that come not originally from the jazz repertoire. It could be also a pop song or folk song, but then we try to put it in a jazz version. Their first South African performance was sold out on Wednesday night at the Grahamstown Jazz Festival. The audience was even wowed with a repertoire of African jazz. The group hopes to experiment more with this and to share their European style with local musicians. I'm sure it will be a huge influence for everybody getting into contact with the people from South Africa, talking to them, talking to other musicians. And I'm sure it will be a thing everybody will remember for his whole life. Before the concert, we spoke with this singer who is caught between her love for music and soccer. We love to spend all our time for, with the music, but also it's the, it's the World Cup and Germany is a quite good team. And um, I think they're playing tonight, so, but we won't see it because that's the time of the concert. While Germany moves up the soccer ladder, the group will move to perform in Cape Town as part of the German cultural program for the FIFA World Cup. They hope for the same warm welcoming they received in Grahamstown. Catherine Robinson, QTV, Grahamstown.